Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, hello, family. Welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful uh, day. In today's video, we'll be reacting to Eat, Pray, Love. Uh, author Elizabeth uh, Gilbert tells uh, her story uh, to um, Oprah Winfrey, how she sees uh, Islam. This video was suggested by uh, Bogas Tiwia. Thank you very much for taking the time to send me your recommendation and suggestion. Stay tuned, guys. We'll be right back with a video. Bye guys, inshallah we're going to get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end. With that said, we're going to get started with our video. So describe a moment when you experienced true and pure grace and you knew it. I was in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. um, I was going through my horrible divorce. I was 31. Mm -hmm. I was in a terrible depression. I took myself to this tiny little island and decided I needed to spend 10 days in silence to try to have a truth and reconciliation hearing with myself because I was so full of shame and pain. Mm. I decided I wouldn't speak, not a word, for 10 days and I didn't know anybody. I went and got a hut on a beach in this tiny little very poor fishing island off of Lombok in Indonesia. And I got terribly, terribly sick with food poisoning. And my plan was to walk around the island every day because it was a tiny little mm. island. And there was this one woman, this Muslim woman, I mean, I, when I say this island was poor, I mean what these people fished that day is what they ate for dinner that night, mm -hmm. you know? And this one woman on the other side of this island used to see me walking and she would put her hand on her heart and smile at me when I walked by and I would do the same to her. And then I got really sick and I was stuck in my cabin, dehydrated, terrified. I actually thought I had malaria, mm -hmm. you know, and far away from anyone who knew me. And this woman came and found me something in her knew that I wasn't well. She'd seen me mm. and she knew I wasn't doing well anyway. But when she didn't see me on my daily walk, she came and knocked on my door and and saw the condition that I was in and went like this and came back an hour later with fresh food and fresh water for me. And I just started crying in her arms and she held me in her arms like I was her child and, and just rocked me and took care did of me. Did you even know her name? I didn't know her name, still don't. And, um, and mm. by the way, she is my face of Islam. Whenever, you know, whatever conversation in the world is ever happening about Islam, she is my face of Islam. That woman who went across an island, knocked on every door in this little row of cabins till she found the person who she knew was suffering and came and took care of me. Oh for, my God. That was the most grace I have ever received in my entire life because she had no relationship with me whatsoever, owed me nothing. This is truly God working through somebody's kindness. That's why the Prophet said the biggest jihad is the jihad al nafs, right? How we control ourselves, how we deal with other uh, people. And uh, this reminds me of the hadith of the Prophet where um, somebody used to basically bug him on the way to the masjid every morning, uh, threw, used to throw stuff at him, used to put objects on his, on his pad. And uh, every day, for example, he would either remove the objects or if his clothes get uh, dirty, he would go back home, change, and then come back. Uh, one day, that person was not there to bug him. So the Prophet ﷺ tried to find out and uh, ended up going to this person's house and uh, going in there and seeing that they are uh, sick and uh, questioning like, uh, I didn't see you today, friend. Just wanted to see how you are. So SubhanAllah, he approached them and, and mentioned to them or referred to them as his friend. And that's when they basically embrace the Islam. So um, our characters, first of all, a reminder for myself first, our characters um, is really, really important because that's what people see as, as a, an example and as a face of uh, Islam. And, uh, you know, similarly here, she didn't know who the lady was. She just used to see her walk, for example, in a little island, right? And they had no interaction. They didn't even speak the same language. And she didn't see her one, one morning and she went and tried to search for her and, and see where she is and try to bring her water and uh, food, right? And it had changed her perception of what, what Islam is because that's what uh, true Islam is, right? So we all have to um, basically work uh, towards being that uh, example. And like I said, this is a reminder for myself. First, similarly, for example, when we go to a store, and whether we talk to a cashier or a manager, they're that face of that uh, organization. If we have bad experience, we basically blame the whole organization, right? And if we have good experience, we 
like that organization. So similarly in Islam, maybe we might be the only person that somebody attracts uh, to, right? So that could be, I guess, the example of uh, Islam that they see, right? So really, really interesting, guys. Thank you very much for suggesting this video. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like me to react to another video, please put in the comment section below. As always, guys, thank you very much for your love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family. And inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. What's the name?